Ten years ago, almost, almost to this month, uh, it has been on my heart to be able to receive babies uh, from the community. One of the effects of the war is that there's a greater and readily increasing number of parentless babies or babies that the parents have lost full custody. Our vision is to receive these babies. Uh, to work hand in hand with the government and care for them while in a process of getting them adopted out. We don't want to keep the babies until they're grown. We would rather like to see them uh, adopted out into families. I really want to thank the crews and the people that have come down here. 99% of this building was built from, from individuals from Covenant Life Church. The home will be used to uh, care for 20 to 25 babies and toddlers, um, hopefully during or while we go through the process of getting them adopted out. The babies will come from a department of the government called DEEF, which is similar to Child Protective Services, CPS, in the United States. I think one of the things that affects me most is just thinking about the kids, the, the children that are going to be in the baby home here. It's not just a good work that we're doing, that they're going to have a better life and be better cared for, but it's, uh, we have a chance to affect eternity because these kids are going to grow up hearing the gospel, they're going to grow up hearing about the Lord Jesus, and so we have a chance to make a difference for eternity here. Llegamos aquí al rancho y fue muy... muy difícil dejar a mi mamá. Pero pasando los días, pues fuimos entendiendo y comprendiendo que, pues, Sí la necesitábamos, pero estábamos mejor aquí que en nuestra casa. Porque yo antes me sentía muy mal y pues siempre le preguntaba por qué a mí, pero él me hizo sentir que pues tiene un propósito para mí, que aunque ahorita es doloroso, pero en el futuro va a ser de bendición. Yo llegué como a los 10, 11 años al rancho. Vengo de, de una familia que está separada y, y por eso estuve en, en diferentes problemas hasta que llegué aquí en el, al rancho donde yo conocí de Dios, eh, de su amor, de su perdón. Nos conocimos en el rancho 3M y eh, como estaban los chicos empezamos a, a crecer, a ir a la secundaria, a primaria. Este, hasta que llegamos a la edad de jóvenes. Y con el tiempo, pues sí, nos hicimos novios, nos casamos aquí mismo en el rancho. Y gracias a Dios, porque en el rancho 13 meses hemos aprendido mucho a amar a los niños este, y con el tiempo a nuestros niños también, a nuestros hijos. I would very much like to take this brief moment to um, share our gratitude to Covenant Life Church. You've stuck with us through the good times and the bad, 
You know, we all know there's a war going on here. You guys continue to come and serve and minister to the children. And for that, we're very, very grateful. So thank you for that. I also want to thank uh, Dave Brewer and the youth. Uh, Dave, for kicking uh, this whole thing off with a meeting a number of years ago. And, and even for the, the youth last summer who collected enough clothes to take care of us for quite a while. We haven't had to buy any clothes all year for any of the kids and so we're gr very grateful to them for Grant Lehman for leading the teams down here to get this building constructed uh, who led with integrity and led with just in a God glorifying manner and Andy Torzik who managed all the teams as far as the construction is concerned just his expertise and I can see God working through him to to get this building done and we're especially uh, grateful for your partnership Covenant Life uh, with us in the advancement of God's kingdom for the sake of the gospel. I want to thank all the people that have not ever been here, uh, the people that have prayed for us, the people that have given sacrificially to, to make this building a reality. I want to thank you guys as well. Ellos hacen su parte y nosotros estamos aquí haciendo nuestra parte. Y todo esto es para Dios. Hopefully in the very near future, the baby home will be full of uh, bubbling laughter and crying babies and that sort of thing. And uh, if one has the opportunity to be saved through this process, then it's all worth it. Y que creo que pues, yo lo voy a entender mucho porque como yo también estuve así en este hogar, pues lo voy a cuidar y pues lo voy a querer mucho. Y pues voy a, a tratar de dar lo mejor para mí, pues para que ellos se sientan amados y queridos por uno que, por sus papás que pues no sé por qué no los quisieron o no los van a creer. Es emocionante ver cómo Dios toma la vida que no tiene, que nadie tomó en cuenta, que nadie valoró, que nadie quiso. We would very, very much appreciate your prayers in four different areas. One is as we navigate the process of becoming state certified, which will allow us to receive the babies. Two, for the, um, for the middle school that we are planning on opening this, this coming school year and all that that entails. The third one is for the, the continued safety of all the staff the children, the interns, the teams that we're blessed to have down here. And finally, I would just ask for prayers for the, the babies and the toddlers that one day, hopefully soon, will be living here in this very house and that they will be adopted to the family that God has chosen for them and for that family even now. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Necessita amor que nunca falla, tu gracia y compasión. Todos necesitan perdón y esperanza de un Dios que salva. Jesús la muerte